Hey guys, welcome back. This week, a new ransomware bypasses protections using intermediate file encryption, Ragnarok ransomware shuts down and releases decryption key, researchers propose a new authentication method between Bluetooth connected devices, and our CVE of the week, a critical flaw in Cosmos database affecting thousands of Microsoft Azure's customers. A new ransomware named Lockfile has some unique capabilities of bypassing systems ransomware protections. Lockfile emerged in July 2021 after the massive Microsoft Exchange breach and is targeting the proxy shell and petite bottom vulnerabilities to infect unpatched servers. Last week, researchers at Sophos Labs released a detailed analysis of Lockfile that shows the ransomware has some unique capabilities that allow it to bypass ransomware protections. Lockfile does this by using a process called intermittent file encryption where every 16 bytes of a file are encrypted. This process helps Lockfile bypass some ransomware protections since the encrypted file looks statistically similar to the unencrypted original. Another capability that helps Lockfile protect itself is that once all of the files are encrypted, Lockfile deletes itself from the affected machine, blocking the option of a ransomware cleanup. These capabilities show how ransomware is constantly evolving and posing a greater challenge for security researchers. You can find the link to Sophos Labs' complete analysis in the description below to learn more about these new capabilities. In other news, Ragnarok Ransomware Gang released their decryption key and shut down all of their operations. The Ragnarok Ransomware Gang has been a big player in the ransomware game. Last week, Ragnarok announced on their public website that they would be shutting down their operations. In the post, the Ransomware Gang also released a decryption tool hard-coded with a master decryption key. An independent security researcher confirmed that the Ragnarok decryptor does work. Researchers are also working on releasing a safe-to-use version that will be released on the No More Ransom portal. Ragnarok is joining a few other ransomware gangs that disappeared in the past few months, like Avadon Ransomware and Re-Evil Ransomware. Moving on, researchers propose a new method of authentication between Bluetooth-connected devices. Five academics from universities and colleges around the world developed this new authentication method called Verification of Interaction Authenticity. The new method is meant to solve a problem with Bluetooth-connected devices where they remain paired indefinitely, putting them at risk. The Verification of Interaction Authenticity, VIA for short, is designed to solve the issue using machine learning. With this new authentication method, patterns from packet headers and payloads are extracted and compared with a verification model. If the patterns match this authentic behavioral model, then the devices are allowed to continue to communicate. Researchers expect to see this new method used in many other devices as a second factor authentication. Now for our CVE of the week, a critical flaw in Cosmos database puts thousands of Microsoft Azure's customers at risk. Cosmos database is Microsoft's NoSQL database for modern app development. Last week, a cloud security company disclosed a new fixed vulnerability in Cosmos database that allows attackers to gain full admin access without any authentication. The vulnerability named ChaosDB could allow attackers to view, modify, and delete data in the affected Cosmos database account. The attacker can gain these credentials by exploiting a chain of vulnerabilities in a Jupyter notebook of Cosmos database. This vulnerability was exploited for months so Microsoft advises users to regenerate the Cosmos database primary keys to mitigate the risk. You can learn how to regenerate these keys in Microsoft's advisory found in the description. That's it for now. More details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on our other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories.